whether the pain you feel is menstrual cramps or is it indicating something else today we are going to discuss with you period pain safest solution for relief and instant medication a to z guidance hey there i am dr kalpa jyoti and i am dr trishna and you are watching Dysmenorrhea is what most of you all like to call menstrual cramps. A few facts that you should get corrected. Now, if your pain stays one or two days of your menses, then it's okay. It's quite normal due to increase in prostaglandin P G F two alpha under the influence of progesterone, vasopressin, endothelin, causing myometrial contraction and your pain. This is called primary dysmenorrhea. Secondly, if your pain happens to start before menstruation, get severe during menstruation, or if it starts before menstruation and stays even after your menstruation gets over, then there lies a problem to worry. It may be due to PID, fibroids, adenomyosis, endometriosis. We call it secondary dysmenorrhea. You need to get a USG done to know the pelvic pathology. The safest solution here I would give is to go visit your gynecologist as soon as possible. Yes, immediately. So let's dive into the solution segment. But hey, we did a recent Instagram survey and found that 59% of you are suffering from severe menstrual cramps and 41% does not. And you also asked us questions like how to relieve from period cramps fast, how to stop period pain forever, period pain and home remedies. So here comes our solution. Number 1, home remedies. Number 2, yoga. Number 3, few hacks. Number four, medications, both Ayurvedic and allopathic, and number five, acupressure techniques. Now let's go to home remedies. Add the pounded cinnamon, basil leaves, and ginger to boiling water, and have this drink. Curry leaves are easily available in Indian kitchen. Make a paste of it. Add a pinch of salt to it. Heat it for about one to two minutes, and have this paste. You will feel relief within thirty minutes. You don't want to stand up and do exercise. Relax. I have your back. So here are some lazy ways how you can do yoga in your bed. Number one, Mandukasana. Number two, Baddha Konasana or butterfly pose. Number three, Balasana or child's pose. Number four, Apanasana or knee to chest pose. Number four, Pujangasana or cobra pose. Number five, Chaturanga Parivartanasana or Belly Twist Yoga Pose. Track your period. Either you can mark it on your phone or paste a calendar near the area where you store your pads. Don't forget to keep a pen there. Since you know when you will have your period, pre-plan it like an occasion. Avoid those junks and soda drinks. Keep nuts, easily available healthy snacks, buy a dark chocolate in advance, and those hot water bags. Basically, make your own checklist. Just imagine you came from work, headache, backache, mood swings, and your cramps. You already know you have kept yourself hydrated throughout the day. Now freshen yourself up, have a bath, light a candle, play some good music, sit and sip that cup of tea or plain lukewarm water by adding some herbs to it, and relax. Bonus tips: Take a hot water bag to relieve your cramp, hot soup, or hot food. Period poops and weight gain during menses is normal, which vanishes after your period gets over, just like your mood swings. Hygiene: Change your pads at least three to four times a day, at least after every six hours. Instead of taking multivitamin tablets, you can go for fruits, green leafy vegetables, those salads, chicken soup, fish. Primary dysmenorrhea is considered as Udavata or Udavatini yoni vyapad according to Ayurveda, which is basically a vatic disease. So, if you visit your gynecologist of Ayurvedic science, he or she may treat you with the help of Panchakarma, first up Snehana, which is basically massaging your body with medicated oil. Second, Swedana, hot fermentation on your body with Vatahara drugs. Basti prayog anuvasan and utravasti anuvasan basti is like giving enema to a patient trust me it is a painless procedure and absolute solution if you don't want to go for panchakarma your gynecologist will give you medications according to your prakriti now medications like shula virgini vati will give you instant relief but is short lived you will have pain again so visit an ayurvedic gynecologist and get your customized medication according to your prakriti for a total relief and not a short lived one 
talking about modern medications they prescribe analgesics antispasmodics nsaids ocps vitamin a and some surgeries like nerve ablation and nerve stimulation you can visit a gynecologist either allopathic or ayurvedic according to your preferability acupressure technique is more like marma chikitsa in ayurveda so here are a few that i am going to share lie down in a supine position and apply pressure over the navel region walk fingers over your heel as shown in the video this helps in relieving cramps apply pressure below the middle malleolus and two fingers above is another pressure point apply pressure here also now support the great toe with your left hand and gently apply pressure with your thumb this will stimulate your pituitary gland hey guys if you find this video helpful then don't forget to hit the subscribe button right here yes here if you are a guy then share this video with your friends sisters girlfriends and hey if you are a girl then share this video with your friend squad family and everywhere until we meet like share and subscribe to our channel bye, bye.